Hi, good morning everybody. Um, I've got a testimony to share with you this morning. On Monday we were working at a colleague's place and on our way home I had dropped off a, a colleague that lives close to me. And um, we're driving around in, in um, a particular area in Cape Town called Stickland. And it's on um, Old Paul Road just before you get to the Stickland Hospital. And we we drive in and she's busy testifying about how at the right time God always comes through for her. You know, she leaves it in his hands. Um, she lays the petitions of her heart and she just leaves it with God. And then he always surprises her and comes through for her. And she's still talking. And as I'm driving to the left, I see something happening. I see a girl in school clothes being roughed up by a, a guy, a man, much, much older than her. And um, I'm driving in the opposite direction of what of where this is happening. So um, what I did was I made a U-turn. I um, went by faith. just shows you the adrenaline that, that takes place when you see something like that. Um, so I make a U-turn. I get on um, to the gravel. Uh, my car clearly was covered by the blood of Jesus because I didn't care if I had to hit a rock or a stone, but there was nothing there. And I'm driving fast and I am hooting. And yeah, I was that person um, making a scene. And this car was a, a chariot um, in that moment with lots of horses pulling it. And as as we got to the scene... Um, this guy was, was carrying on and we are intervening. And I'm telling you, it was just two mothers in a car intervening because, you know, my, the thought that went through my mind is I don't want to see this girl on um, a feed somewhere or in social media. She's missing. She's been hurt or, or another um, attack on, on a school girl. You know, I didn't, I didn't want her to become a stat. So, I made a conscious decision to get involved and my colleague was in. She was in for it because she's also a mother and she knows how the lioness in us arise, um, especially when it comes to our kids and other kids as well, you know. So um, I don't know what happened. I know there was two cars that stopped across the road, but I don't know what happened in that moment of us speaking to this guy, telling this girl to get in the car, and this girl's terrified. She's like, should I get in this car or not? Because you can see she was she was doubting whether she should get in, and she's like, auntie, auntie, it's my cell phone, and he wants to take my cell phone. And she's shaking, so I'm like, girl, get in the car now, okay? I'll take you home. And, and she gets in the car, and this guy, through it all, he stands still. He stands still. And if you had to see what he was doing before that, you know, um, pulling at a bag, at a clothes, and it, it was hectic, and he was eating her, and I'm like, no, no, not on our watch, okay, it's not going to happen on our watch, and, um, you know, some might judge us for being, um, you know, uh, getting involved in stuff that's not our business, but we are so fed up, fed up, I've seen this happen, and nobody does anything, you know, it's a it's a it's an isolated road at times. There's few traffic, um, walking traffic there. Um, the two vehicles that stopped on the opposite side of the road was two men, and they like getting involved. Um, but you know what? It it it's it's you know the times we live in, and we just can't stand by anymore and see these things happen and do nothing. I'm I'm reminded of a of a scripture in um, Hebrews four verse twelve. Um, that speaks of the word of God that is alive and active. It's sharper than a two-edged sword. And it judges the intentions and the thoughts and the attitude of our hearts. And and I don't know why the scripture just came up. I was just like, you know what? If the two of us need to be ninjas, we're going to be ninjas. Um, but but we are not going to allow, because we've got kids, we know what it's like. We have to defend our kids all the time. And and so the, the purpose of sharing this testimony is just to let you know 
that because of the word on the inside of us, because we both know God, we could stand there boldly and courageously and and. You know, I'm, I'm telling you, that guy, I don't know if he saw angels. I don't know why he stopped, why he didn't attack us. We don't know if he had a gun or a knife. But I thank God, man. I thank God for that moment. That child was terrified. As we're speaking to her um, in the car, she was terrified. She's shaking. And, and she kept on repeating herself. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's horrific. Um, I, I didn't realize the adrenaline and um, I'm, I'm sure the domkrach, as we know it, would have kicked in in that moment um, if, if something had to happen. But I don't think that, that what we did was in vain because we saved that little girl's life. She had to walk home alone and we don't know the reason, so we're not going to judge the parents. But in that moment, we took a chance, eh? We took a chance. We didn't know what we were going to face. And it might sound stupid because, you know, after after everything, I, I, I drop off my, my colleague, I get home, and I'm like numb. I'm numb. I'm like, Jesus, did that just happen? But, yeah, it, 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 it was the protection of God that kept all of us safe, including that man, because I don't know what would have happened if... if um, if he had to try something, really, I don't. But the grace of God is sufficient for all of us. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that scripture in Hebrews 4 verse 12. And also um, about this experience. Be, be watchful, be alert. You know, we, we really have to look out for one another in this season. Be blessed.